So these are the first protected bike lanes within the city limits of Albuquerque. Um, this is amazing. Protected bike lanes are the gold standard of cycling infrastructure. Yeah, but could more bikes on the road make the International District safer? Year after year, Albuquerque sees some of the highest fatal pedestrian crashes. And now the city of Albuquerque has been using crash data to Id identify some of the most dangerous roads and ways to also make them safer. We sent our Feliz Romero to check out one of those locations and also update us on the latest city road project. Yeah, I'm here along Louisiana and city leaders tell me this stretch of road between Central and Gibson is one of the most dangerous areas in the city. You can see there's a lot of lanes of traffic and few spaces for cyclists and pedestrians. City leaders tell me they're trying to change that. From speeding to distracted driving and everything in between, it's no secret that Albuquerque roads aren't always the safest. City leaders are using crash data as guides to map out the most dangerous roads. This part of Louisiana is on what we call our high fin network map and that's the most dangerous roads in Albuquerque and those are the roads we really prioritize to fix and uh, this one and East Central are two of our highest priorities right now uh, for pedestrian deaths. Dan Mayfield with the Department of Municipal Development says a new road project along Louisiana from Central to Gibson will reduce the roads to four lanes and add protected bike lanes. With the protected bike lane uh, you'll be able to see pedestrians stepping off the sidewalk sooner and also it will be easier for people to commute, especially to the base, on bicycles. Those in the cycling community say the change is long overdue. So these are the first protected bike lanes within the city limits of Albuquerque. Um, this is amazing. Protected bike lanes are the gold standard of cycling infrastructure. They are the best way to keep cyclists safe. The city will also be adding mid-block crosswalks so people can cross at different parts of the street. The project will cost $1 million and is coming from an unlikely source, speed cameras. I think a lot of people have heard of the ASE cameras or speed cameras in town. That program is run by our Vision Zero folks, and they use that money to fund other road safety projects. The protected infrastructure that's going in Louisiana is actually really simple. This isn't something that's some big complicated project that would take years to build and implement. It's really simple. And so we have a lot of buffered bike lanes throughout the city that could really easily be upgraded with this treatment with only a little bit more study needed to be done. This project is supposed to wrap up in 45 days and city leaders say this is just the first of many projects like this. Reporting in Albuquerque, Feliz Romero, KOB4.